right. Need to tape. Is that dark? I need to tape a new video. Let me turn you up a little bit. There we go. It has been a uh, very, very long time since I've shot a video. I'm really hoping that I don't forgot. No, oh, forget. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> we'll see. I'm already messing up. It has been a very long time since I have shot a video. Like, a lot. Like, what is it? Like, two months, it feels like. So, hopefully, I don't forget how to do this. I feel like I'm going to be a little rusty. But... No excuse, except for the fact that like, just life. That's why I haven't made a video. If you see, Lulu might jump into this. That's another thing. I got a cat and I got a puppy in the middle of quarantine, basically. So that's, and, and house renovations and everything else. And that's why I haven't made a video. So before we get started, I think I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee so I can try and get through this. So come with me as I make a cup of coffee. Go, I'll put you, whoops, put you right here. Making a little Starbucks holiday blend. Making it in my new Mando cup. Anyone else say Baby Yoda fan, Mandalorian fan? Comment down below. All right, so while that's brewing, let me back you up a little bit. It has been a year. So, to just reiterate what I just said. Oops, let me set you up here. Can you stop? Thanks. All right, so in the past few months, let's just do a little bit of an update. I have renovated my house, and one of the things that I decided I would didn't like any more about my YouTube studio was my desk, so I moved it. But my basement is all tore up, and my I tore up my YouTube studio. So we are filming in my kitchen, literally the only room that isn't torn up right now. I got a cat, got a kitten, <laughs> Lulu, who wants to attack me right now. Um, and in the middle of all of that, a couple months later, I think what like month later we decided to get a puppy so it is actually nap time for the puppy so it's the perfect time to shoot a video but my life's kind of all over the place right now and I've been super busy <laughs> so I haven't been able to make a video but I'm back on track and I'm going to be today making a video on Monday market minute so as soon as my coffee is done we'll get started all right, I am all set. I got my Mando cup. Very excited about that. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm Jen, your Delaware Realtor, bringing you a brand new episode of Monday Market Minute. Now, I realize that I haven't made a video in like two months, so I did not make October's video. So I'm actually going to do October and November of 2020. And I'm going to combine them and go over all of the numbers. We're going to go over the trends and what I'm seeing from month to month and my predictions for what we'll see at the end of 2020 and into 2021. So before we get started today, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you never miss a new video. Okay, so let's get started. In November, we had 1,486 new listings which is actually down from October where we had 2,000 new listings. Now this is to be expected because we are right near the holidays, so a lot of people don't want to list their home near the holidays, in, especially with Thanksgiving. They don't wanna have showings during that time. A lot of people are either trying to get in before the holiday or they're trying to spend their last Thanksgiving in their home. And if they are going to list, they're gonna wait until after Thanksgiving to try and get those buyers that are shopping on Thanksgiving weekend and trying to get in before Christmas. So we will start to see more homes go on the market after the holidays, but we will start to see a lull right near Christmas as well. So 
we were able to have 1,570 homes go pending, which is actually also down from October where we had 1,941 homes go pending. We were able to close 1,579 homes in November with the average days on market dropping significantly to 39 days. In October, we were able to close 1,818 homes with the average days on market being 45 days. So this is just fueling the seller's market. There's low inventory, buyer demand is high, and home prices are on the rise. So the average selling price for October was $355,000, which drops slightly in November to $354,000. So remember a few months ago when I said that there was going to be a refinancing fee added come December and we were probably going to start to see rates go up? Well, in October, we did see that. So the average interest rate for a 30-year fixed rate in October was 2.93%. Now, we did see rates drop a little bit in November to 2.76%. And we are starting to see them go back up a little bit. And currently we're sitting at a 2.99%, but the rates are still very low compared to last year. So what does this all mean for you? Now, if you're a seller, this is the perfect time to sell. It is a great seller's market, but if you are a buyer, I'm just going to be honest. It's kind of brutal out there. You're putting in multiple offers. There's, I mean, I just put an offer in on a house that had 12 other offers on it. I mean, it's discouraging sometimes, but you're, you're going to find something. It just may take a little bit. And this is what I'm telling my clients now is that this probably isn't going to be a cakewalk. We're going to put in multiple offers. We're probably going to be beat out, beat it out by all these other offers, but we're going to find something. So this market is for people that are very serious. It's people that are okay with losing some and you know, you're going to find that house, but you have to just keep pushing along basically. Um, but if you're a seller, I mean, it, it's the perfect market for you. I mean, I had a house that was like under contract for at least, I think it was like 30 days. And I had someone that called me and they were trying to offer me like well over, you know, what I had listed it for. And I mean, I had to tell them, Hey, you know, we have been under contract and we're about to close this week. That's, you know, we can't do that. But like, that's the type of market that we're in. Buyers are desperate. They want to get in before the holidays. They want to take advantage of these low um, rates. They, they just, they want a house. Um, that's the best I, I could, way I can put it. So if you are thinking about selling now is the absolute time to do so. So my prediction is, is that Normally we, in, like if this was a normal market, we would see this like kind of like lull period in the winter, which is actually the best time to sell because there's like less competition. What I think is going to happen this year is that we are going to see a very slight lull, meaning like maybe the week before Christmas or the week after Christmas. But honestly, it's, it, I don't think we're going to see those winter blues. I think this market is hot. It's going to remain hot for like the foreseeable future, especially with rates so low. Um, I think that even new construction is backed up right now. So, so many, so the resale market is so saturated with buyers that a lot of people are going to new construction. Well, new construction, I mean, I've talked to people then they're, they're 40 homes deep. Um, so it's just about patience, perseverance, and knowing that we are going to find you something. It's just probably going to take a little bit. So I am fingers crossed that this market continues, you know, to heat up and be great. Um, but if you are thinking about selling your house, please reach out to me. I would love to help you get the most amount of money for your house in the short amount of time. Um, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next month on another edition of Monday Market Minute. <laughs> hey, were you thinking about selling your house? Do you have a septic system? Check out this video on how to sell your house with a septic system. 
And if you're interested in selling and need to know the steps to do so, check out this playlist right here. And don't forget, subscribe to my channel.